spectacular. A lot of movement, misdirection. Now the toss to Kendall Milton. And he gets stacked up. Big penalty brings up first and 25. They've had the ball twice previously. And scored touchdown twice. Milton runs a long way before Coutts. The first of their three losses in their last four games. Lost again to Utah in the Pac-12 title game. Milton has lots of room. Cuts inside and got tackled. Looked like he was going to walk into the end zone. but Yeah, I'm sure if Milton had this to do over, he would have stayed outside. But a really nice tackle by Gonzalez. We take a look from the progressive pylon camera. Gonzalez. Milton. There's a good tackle. Now it is seventh season, 6-0 in season openers, and this one's in cruise control as Milton waltzes in. Taki Taimani. Stayed in the huddle for a long time, came up the line, snapped it quick. It's just zone read, just a good read by the running back, Kendall Milton. Popped it back outside again. Jakeem Bigham here promised her he would get his degree. Very bright guy. Very bright. Yeah, he was majoring it. Nolan Smith. Very impressive young man. Here's Kendall Milton. Left and just hand it off every play. I saw most of his action last year, about a quarter and a half against Vanderbilt. Kendall Milton. Oregon might start those tackling drills on the flight. Great job. Watch number one. Just stay on his block, keep his hands inside, and just open up that lane. For Kent, by the way, Stench, as he, you said he came off limping. Milton, Kendall Milton, gets inside the 40, down to the 38, where Ty Hardiman is back in. Swing it to Kendall, looking for blocking. Patient gets all the way up to the five. It's just so challenging. I mean, look at... Darnell Washington, that's basically a tackle that's pulling out in space. 275. I'm going to give him two. Four step again down at the Samford 11. Now to Milton. Kendall patiently waiting for space. Less than a foot. A cushion in the slot. And it's an easy first down run for Milton. There's the strain you're talking about. Getting some help from his offensive line. Plus, Cedric Van Pram, clean into the line of scrimmage, untouched. That's a great job up front and in the trenches. And that's set of downs from the 11 yard line. And a toss going to Milton. Kendall breaking tackles, keeping his feet up near the three. 53rd career catch. For Kieris. This is Milton inside the 45 and just about to climb up. Get to the edge easily. Milton with a first down run. Dark. Here goes McConkey. Bennett will hand it off to Milton and Kendall will get to the 40 yard. Kendall Milton. Around the left side is past the 35 and past the 40. First six quarters of the year. But Kirby Smart said, let's make it a point to establish that ground game today. And I think that's clearly an emphasis here on this drive. Don't take no for an answer. And it pushed through even when people doubted him and kept, kept working and kept running. Milton gets free. And he's back into Sanford territory. Now in your career. Shane Beamer. As Bennett has Georgia on the move. Milton powers his way down to the 15. A little bit. Rundley was freshman all SEC last year. Here's Milton driving, getting help from his offensive percent of his passes through the first two games. And he's five out of six today. Back to the run with Milton. He swung down, but he has the first down. The interception really hurt on their last possession. Kendall Milton, the running back. 
Lowers his head, and that's a touchdown. Like that. Where just everything clicks. It was particularly impressive in the opener. Nothing doing there for Milton. Only a missed field goal against Samford. The toss to Milton and a nice tackle. Oh, Don Sean McDonough, Todd Blackledge, Molly McGrath, delighted to have you with us from Columbia, South Carolina. Georgia with the ball, leading 21 to nothing. They were forced to punt for the first time today on their last possession. Nation brings college sports together to recognize and show appreciation to great teachers across the country. Kendall Milton, the ball carry to support extra. You say sometimes he just gets a little too hyped up during the game. Kendall Milton, the ball carrier. They're not getting penalties and that sort of thing. But Good time in the game for Georgia to work more on that running game. Again, coming into the game. Stetson Bennett on first and ten. Sidesteps the rush of Sherrod Green and dumps it short. Nice catch by Milton. 11-1 last season. The only loss was to Alabama in the SEC title game. There's another man running wide open. Kendall Milton tripped up, or that might have been a touchdown there today. Again, these plays right in here, they get lost where the ball, nobody accounts for the back coming out of the backfield. The tight end is wide open, the back is open. Stetson Bennett just multiple opportunities of where he wanted to go with the football in that play and takes the big play. With an interception, that's Kendall Milton that moves to his left, hands it to him, and Milton goes nowhere. He's going to lose yardage on this of skilled players in offense so far Todd's hiding in there somewhere in the glass and this is a handoff that goes to Kenny Milton for a first down run we haven't seen a reception in the first quarter we'll go to the ground with Milton to start the second and Kendall fighting for extra yardage Kirby Smart in the hole he just kept his legs churning Right there, not a ton of room, missed tackle. Missed opportunity for Kent State, really. You got a free hitter blowing up in there. The big conversion to Darnell Washington on that previous throw. Big O is just a behemoth in that uniform. Kendall Milton finds a soft spot. He's inside the 20. Tailback this season. A uh, key distinction, right? When you think about it with Brock Bowers, great blocking. Incidentally, Bowers out in front. We got losing. Touchdowns in their last 13 red zone attempts. And Milton will stay on his feet to get a yard. Or sake. Milton will go out and McIntosh will come in. Milton behind Bennett. They toss it to him. And he gets nothing. That's exactly right. I mean, up front, to get up front. Nice penetration, they set the edge and turn Milton back into the print as Georgia's going fast. His seventh catch of the season was a dandy and now it's Milton patiently with a flag down. Gets inside the six. Yeah, you can see it. Although I will say it's, that happens, you know, it oftentimes. James. Milton will pick up a couple stench. What's your assessment of the offensive line today? Yeah. California going in motion and looking for a block is Milton. A flag comes in. Second level, watch him hold Cedric Van Prant. He's turned his shoulders just enough. Van Prant's trying to climb up on the linebacker. He can't. It's being held. And the toss to him. Kendall is hit right at the line. Second down is Caleb Caster, Georgia. Still down, though. It'll be second and goal for Georgia when we come back. At the one, turns to Milton. Milton extra effort. Looks like he's in. Yes. With this touchdown. Heck of an effort by Kendall Milton. Seen that a couple of times here this half. Not a clean insertion, had to dance a little bit, maybe one step too much. Begins at about the Missouri 10. 
And they'll run it in a huge hole for Kendall Milton. And a change of direction, but he lost the football. Tigers fall on, on the logo. Out on the first drive, and let's take a look at this one. Milton splits up the middle. It's never from the guy that you see. It's always from behind you. And that one looks like a clean punch, like Peanut Tillman back in the day coming from behind on that one. Oh, it was. <laughs> the knuckles right on the ball. Tyron Hopper. Excellent play. They'll try to run it with Kendall Milton. Here's Milton. Found a hole. And then made another. And Milton Lidge, the right guard, watch this kick out block. He's going to kick out the defensive end there and completely open up that hole for Kendall Milton. Troll of a protection adjustments from Todd Munkin, and now it's his time to prove. And they'll go to the run game here with Kendall Milton, and he picks up a first down, but we've got a flag. Blocking scheme, they're going to run to the top there. Milton changes direction, and he gets stoned at the line of scrimmage. It's Carlisle again to the line. Bennett will hand it off. Touchdown, Georgia. A plunge for Kendall Milton. Had just enough space. Yeah, and this, this time really good pad level. Get all those helmets going down. Staying low. Let's keep an eye on. Yeah. And Missouri stands up Kendall Milton. Take us inside that huddle. You can see Stetson Bennett almost. On first down for the 43-yard line. In the backfield is Kendall Martin. Kendall Milton, excuse me, and Milton will run to his right. He's got some blockers, and Milton gets across midfield inside. Mm -hmm. what we call gap skein, which is pulling the backside offensive line. You're blocking down on the front side, pulling from the backside. This is what they did against Missouri to get back in the game, and it's one of the hallmarks of the Georgia running game. Yeah, game. Vegas for him. Mm. So it was wine in Napa and roulette in, uh, <laughs> in La Vegas to get these unicorn tight ends. There's Milton, and a flag comes in. Milton has a first down for the moment but we'll see who the penalty's against. You can see him coming across. This is that zone block. They do not want you going into guys' legs anymore. They're trying to protect everybody. You've got to have your defense really rise up and see if they can hold them to at least three. Yeah, second down and short. Bowers in motion behind the line of scrimmage. They hand the ball off to Milton, and Milton goes right up the middle, has a first down, and gets down to the 20. Georgia. Here again, that zone play, you can see Brock Bowers, that when he tries to come underneath, they end up wrapping around behind him. It's being injured against Auburn. And they're going to let him have it right here. And he looks hungry. Kendall Milton in the backfield will get the carry. Nothing. Head, head on. So Georgia takes over on downs. Keeps it on the ground. Tennessee's only got one more way to stop it. Kendall Milton on the carry. Under a 4 5 40. Kendall Milton stopped. Stayed 0 for 2 on fourth down, 2 for 12 on third down. Big part of this game. Here's Kendall, the 19 point lead and approaching nine minutes to go. So well coached, and Stetson Bennett is so smart. You know, uh, there's quite a connection between Stetson Bennett and Mike Leach. Won Tennessee last week, although Georgia number one in the AP poll. Georgia's three wins all time against the number one team in the country. His touchdown numbers. Now he has three tonight, which gives him 14 for the season. Here's Kendall Milton busting free into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. 34 yards. Starts with the tight end blocking out and then watch number the left side of the Georgia offensive Georgia line. Just gets to the second level and there's nobody there. McConkey gets a block on Forbes. And once he gets to the second level, there's no maroon jerseys anywhere. A tired Mississippi State. Moves to the left of Bennett and now the counter comes back the other way. Milton with a stiff arm will only get to the... Milton struggling with the groin throughout this season. Now seems to be back and healthy. Got hurt in the Auburn too with Kendall Milton, with Stetson Bennett in the backfield, and he'll get the carry on a counter, and Kendall Milton 
Nice roll of eight yards. Ten times so far in this game, it's the counter, as Brad has been telling you. They pull the backside guys, just follow those big ones coming around. Big block by Washington, by the way. Milton again. Kendall Milton again. Big run. Still bounce it off. Would be tacklers to the 36. Pick up a 13 more. Well, watch him again. The big tight end. Not as only a receiver, but he seals off the inside. Gets a little help. Check, sink that play. What a way to seal that line off. Georgia going with some tempo here. Milton broke another tackle. Looking like he Ashman. Well, it's been a staple of this Georgia offense. They always got two of them, right? I mean, at least opportunity an inch shorter could have been. Only a yard for Kendall Mafet, so they're going to try to nail the coffin right here. And oh, no. no. Kendall Milton didn't get there. No push on back-to-back -back plays. So you say they might have lost a little hard. To, it's hard to look up there with no points, but... Corner blitz. And they'll try to run for a first down. And they won't get there. And this is fourth down and a full two as Kendall Milton was brought down. Hand off Milton. Kendall Milton. Bobbing and weaving his way for five. A couple of ranked wins as well with that comeback win against North Carolina last week. As Milton dives ahead. Well, you came right out and asked Brent Key when we talked to him. To you and your coaching staff that even in the midst of, you know, their season's been a season that's had a lot of distraction. Milton right up the middle, padding the lead for Georgia to the house. 44 yards. What a big time run by Georgia. You follow up your big buys in front. Milton runs away from the defense. It's th third and five. This time they do run it for a first down. You go, you know, you're thinking now this time pass. Watch LSU turn around. Linebackers are searching up wide receivers. And the call by co offensive coordinator Munkin is going, no, 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 no. We're going to run it three straight times again. Keep them up. Four. First down at the 46. Milton. Bust it outside. Kendall Milton. About 25 more. Going by that, you got big, big tight end, gets the block. Oh, look at that block by Washington at the end man. The line. Dylan Bell is downfield, but Washington cleans it up. First down at the 30. They go right back to Milton on a toss, but he's going to lose a couple of yards. Two different types, 19 and 0. Bowers gets one guy. Inside number zero, Rosemary Jackson gets his block. Point of attack, three on three. Brock Bowers in motion. Two yard game for Kendall Milton. From the 40. Kendall Milton into the middle of the pack. Broke one tackle, got five out of that somehow. Cutting off right offensive tackle. On second and five, balls out again. And this time LSU has got it. At the six minute mark. Kendall Milton. And Milton, good game for Georgia. And worked his way up Central Michigan, Cincinnati, Notre Dame, and now here at LSU. Second and three. First down run. Kendall Milton, open field. Milton in a foot race. Kendall Milton pushing tacklers off. This one does. Just watch that front, that offensive line. Van Pan does a good job. Just told by Kush. Center, Cedric Van Pan, 63. Takes the nose tackle completely out of the play. 50 yards later, he's at the 15 yard line. Side that are lurking. Absolutely. I mean, uh, TCU and USC could have left no doubt. Nothing left for the committee to decide if they both win, but now becomes a decision to be made. And it's really going to be whether the committee goes with best or resume. Here's Kendall Milton cutting it to the outside. That penalty was on Mims, by the way. Got to carry that. Milton makes a cut and bangs down near the goal line. Touchdown! He got in. How about that answer by George? Make sure, Milton got across the goal line here. What an effort. We saw Mayan Williams with an effort. Look at that. Extends at the end. To me, Bill, it looks like it, Bill says it is a touchdown. That's a tremendous job by Georgia 
and by Milton to answer that Ohio State lead. You just talked about that deficit. They go four plays, 75 yards in a minute 40. Bill Lemagne put his, his fingers about four inches apart, so that was that close. And then he gave the touchdown <laughs> sign. For 14 for Stetson in this first half. Mitchell in motion. They hand it off inside to Milton. Milton banging down in Williams 91. Watch him kind of run himself out of the play. Great recognition by the left tackle Broderick Jones to look to his left to kind of get a kick out block. And it's in this first half. Milton again. It's on heavy traffic. Short position. Two back look. McIntosh and Milton in there. It's Milton around the left side. He's a physical runner, runs with inside Milton, and I feel like TCU. He's been obviously honed in on by defenses. Milton dragged down behind the line, but you have a tight end, Kirk, that has four in their first four possessions in the championship game era. Trying to make it five for five. Milton makes a man miss, and he barrels into TCU. The different tempos. And Milton deep handoff, and he is smacked in the hole there by Bennett under center Milton stutter step diving reaching he'll be just short of the goal line but it'll be first down backs staying fresh boy the offensive line is having their way with TCU up front Milton no problem Georgia overpowering TCU I think the word that you just used pretty much sums up the first half for the TCU defense being overpowered by by Georgia. Can they continue to low snap and off inside to Milton into the line of scrimmage 52 grabbed on there. He sure did. No call there. Dykes working by only being five nine. Milton. Still fighting hard, gets to the 40. Just to pick up on that, that Monk and Bennett story, they're both 